<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and we are here finally. Sorry, I know I'm a couple minutes late. I think I am just the world's worst estimator of how long things should take me. So I apologize. Apparently it's kind of, I don't know, is it getting worse as I get older? I'm just always trying to pack so much in. Been running around since 6.30 this morning and I thought I had enough time for it, everything. So anyway, I apologize. We're here, we are ready to go. And I see um, people popping on. It's funny how I'm not getting like notifications. So hopefully that happens soon. I've got some eyeballs. So thank you guys for your patience. Anyway, we are gonna have some fun today as usual on Facebook Live. I want to show you what we are gonna be playing with. We are playing, and I'm gonna show you from the catalog because I have used pretty much all of this package of designer series paper. This is the Philomena Hello, the Frames and Flowers Specialty Designer Series Paper. So it's on pages 28 and 29 in the catalog. Thank you for the share as well, Philomena. I appreciate that. So you can see, so I'm going to kind of try to, and I'll, when we flip the camera down, I'll show this again too. But so this is the Designer Series Paper. What's interesting, this is kind of a different pack than we are used to because it's got front and back of three different pieces of Designer Series Paper, and it's only three so you only get one sheet of each which is probably one of the reasons why I don't have much to show you guys so front and back front and back front and back one 12 by 12 piece of each of those and then a bunch of these really cool like die cut cutout pieces that then you can use to create all of these beautiful things oh and then there's the peony hello mr mj mr michael mcguire <laughs> thanks for joining us uh yeah so this is you can see you can make little gift tags which another thing that i just realized and is it on this page too or is it only on this one i'm gonna have to go back it feels funny to hold this side of the catalog so do you see that cool um tag topper punch right there hadn't noticed that in the catalog at all until i was looking closer at this page or these pages, that is the Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch, item number 161267, I believe. Don't quote me on that for sure. Miss Bonnie, hello. Um, $27 for that Tag Topper Punch. So that is on my list now. Can you guys see that? Again, it's got like the beautiful detail on the top of the tag. So idea being, this is a great kit. Pinky Roth in Georgia, hello and welcome. Um, yes, yeah, so great um set of designer series a designer series paper pack right that you can make boxes labels tags cute little gifty items cards lots of fun stuff we are making cards today which is generally what we make on facebook live um, but again when we um, flip the camera down i'll show you this again um, and it won't be backwards that'll be nice right okay so in the meantime, what else do I have to share with you guys? Let's see. Oh, bonus days, right? Does everybody know Stampin' Up? For the past, I don't know, maybe four or five years at least, I would say we have had bonus days generally in July. Um, so that basically means you get a bonus, a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend in July. And then you can use your coupons in August. So great little deal, great kind of incentive. Basically, it's like getting 10% off of your future order, right? Spend 50 and get a $5 coupon. So you can, if you spend 100, you get um, $10 in coupons. If you spend 150, you get 15 and so on. So um, yeah, that's an awesome kind of incentive. Put your order in, get a little coupon, and then you can um, use that um, to get whatever you need uh, next month in August as well. So keep that in mind going on all month long through uh, July 31st, okay? Um, oh, okay, so the other thing, it's funny, when I prep for Facebook Live, um, I will hop onto the Stampin' Up! website and we have something called Current Updates um, that basically just kind of tell us, you know, what's going on with Stampin' Up!, um, anything that we as demonstrators need to know, and then try to um, get that out to customers. And so this is something that, um, I don't, I don't want to say it's kind of near and dear to my heart because I see these things pop up um, pretty pretty regularly and it's talking about counterfeits. So counterfeit products that look like Stampin' Up! products and you guys have seen these, I'm sure too, um, but they had a post and they don't generally say much about this, but I wanted to kind of read and I'll kind of summarize because 
it's a couple paragraphs long, but I think that this is interesting and something to keep in mind. Um, kind of for me, from the standpoint of, you know, prices of everything are increasing. And I'm sure, you know, we see that through Stampin' Up! as well. One of the reasons, I mean, amongst like lots of other reasons, but it's these counterfeits and all of the time and legal money and effort that it takes to kind of combat these things. Um, it basically ends up going, you know, going into the pricing of our products. Now, Stampin' Up! doesn't say that, but it, it's just kind of the cost of doing business. I'm an accountant also, um, and you can't run a business and not make money. So if you have higher costs, then you need to charge more on your product to be able to cover those costs, you know, because again, if you're not making money, your business isn't going to stay in business, right? So um, I just want to kind of put this out there in case you've ever bought these corner counterfeit products, thought about buying them, no friends that do, I would just really encourage you to not do that. You, th you know, you think you're getting a deal because the prices are significantly lower, but the quality is not there. Um, and you're hurting kind of yourself and everybody that loves Stampin' Up. So this is what I just want to kind of share with you that Stampin' Up! shared with us. It says, Stampin' Up! Stampin' Out! Counterfeits. Our entire Stampin' Up! community is negatively impacted when our network is stolen and used to produce counterfeit products. Sadly, counterfeiting across all industries is on the rise and criminals are becoming more sophisticated. Protecting the Stampin' Up! brand is critical and we remain focused on identifying and applying best practices to battle intellectual property theft of our copyrighted artwork. And I think that's one of the main reasons why, like before a catalog goes live, we can't show the inside of the catalog. We can't show any pages because as soon as like I flash that up on the screen, then these crazy counterfeiter people are somehow, you know, getting that information and then copying it and creating their own products based off of our copyrighted artwork. Okay, so it says, our efforts to stop this theft in include both automated tools and manual enforcement practices. We also partner with online marketplace providers, industry associations, and uh, anti-counterfeiting coalitions to monitor the internet and take immediate action to remove counterfeit product listings. This is amazing. During the past 12 months, Stampin' Up! has successfully removed 14,286 different listings including 70, 782 on that TEMU, T-E-M-U, I don't even know what it is, but it pops up all the time. 782 listings on TEMU alone, resulting in 128,743 units of infringing products being re removed from online marketplaces globally. We have sent formal notice to TEMU demanding that it cease and desist allowing listings that infringe on Stampin' Up's intellectual property. Finally, we have filed a copyright infringement claim in U.S. federal court against a major North American re retailer. I think I know who it is. I'm not going to say you're probably familiar with it, but I just... I almost want to swear right now because I'm like, it's so awful. It's so, you know what I want to say, right? It's just bad business practice. Like these people are stealing. We don't steal, right? It's like one of like the golden rules. Uh, it just, oh, it, it irks me, right? So my, my big point is don't support these people because you're hurting yourself and everyone else, like I said, that loves Stampin' Up. Um, it talks about battling the counterfeits is time consuming, complex, and challenging. And I mention and costs all of us more money. And not every online marketplace provides timely cooperation and enforcement. Even worse, criminals usually hide behind false accounts and internet proxy servers, or they operate from jurisdictions where intellectual property enforcement is difficult. However, Stampin' Up! remains committed to battling this theft on a daily basis, and we'd love your help. So they're asking us to please report counterfeit product listings by emailing a link or a screenshot, and it's to infringements at stampinup.com. So I-N-F-R-I-N-G-E-M-E-N-T-S at stampinup.com, infringements at stampinup.com. We also encourage you to educate your customers about the damaging effects of this criminal activity. Please let them know that anytime they see a knockoff product, they can be assured it was created from stolen property and is being illegally offered for sale. Thank you for your help as we work together to protect our brand, artwork, and this amazing Stampin' Up! community. So 
sorry, I know I kind of digress there, but this, I'm pretty passionate about this because I just, stealing is, you know, it's against the law, right? So don't support it, please. I'm begging you, don't support these stealers, these counterfeiters, right? Okay, so uh, let's do our first drawing now, right? Okay, I'm like, whew, off my soapbox, right? So, ooh, <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, yeah, we're gonna draw for these um, rainbow dots, and then I'm like, where are the other thing that I'm going to give away? And that's around the corner on my little stand where I take my pictures, because I meant to do that before I did a Facebook Live, but I ran out of time. So anyway, okay, your name <laughs> is in the drawing right here for, excuse me, these are the rainbow adhesive back dots. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, your name is in here. If you shared it to a group that you're a part of, you have five entries in here. If you posted a picture of a project that you've made right here on our Facebook group, your name is in here for each project that you posted. Uh, what else? If you signed up for my email list, your name is in here. And I picked one random post. If you commented on that random post, your name is in here also. So I'm encouraging your sharing of projects that you make right here to our Facebook group. I'm encouraging your commenting on the posts on our Facebook group because you never know. You could win free stuff, right? Okay, and sharing. Share, share, share the video. So this one right here, go ahead and share it. While, while you're watching me shake these names around, right? Go ahead and share that video. Um, truly appreciate that. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> no, Robin, it's just because I I said I'm running around like a fool since 6.30 this morning. So as soon as Facebook Live is done, I'm going to want to lay down on the couch, but I have class. So um, tonight. <laughs> Tonight at about seven o'clock, I'm gonna be able to sit back and put my feet up and relax. And yeah, in the meantime, I am like the Energizer Bunny. Like, I don't know if you can, I feel like I need like a little sweat towel or something. <laughs> okay, sorry. You guys get way more info about things than you need to most days, I think. So, ah, Miss Sharon Greening, she commented on one of the posts, the posts that I picked. So Miss Sharon, congratulations. You are the proud new owner of a package of the rainbow adhesive back dots. <laughs> Robin, I'm still laughing about your comment. Yeah, and I don't even drink coffee, actually. That's the crazy thing. This is like all natural, if you can believe it. But Honestly, it's like, you know, that running on fumes kind of thing. I think that's where I'm at. Okay, so let's see. We're going to dump these out. I'm going to put the names in for the next one. Um, pause for one moment. I'm going to run right around the corner here and grab. Okay, so remind me, guys, that I have to take these pictures <laughs> later. I can't do it right now. So, yeah. On our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, these are the adhesive backed dots for days. I'm gonna open them up because I think there are some green ones in here too. So, okay, we've got, here we go. Full package, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna say Garden Green, Crushed Curry, maybe Calypso Coral and Pool Party. That's my guess. And Sharon, actually, who was just the winner, gave us a list. She kind of researched. Oh, because you can look online. So in the catalog, when you see these, they don't give you the color names anymore. So she looked online for all of the names and gave us this little um, Word document that had all of our embellishments in the catalog and all of the colors that are included. So if I knew where that was in my stack of stuff over on the other side of my table, um, I might be able to confirm. But I think I'm pretty. I think I'm. I think I'm pretty good. I think I know that that's what the colors are. So again, share this Facebook Live video. Comment on a post right here on our Facebook group. Um, what else? Oh, I can't even remember now. Right. Um, post a picture of a project that you've made. Sign up for my email list. You could win. And actually, we're going to do Facebook Live next Friday. So two weeks in a row, I'm like definitely like patting myself on the back. But I'll... <laughs> Sorry, that's silliness. Um, but also because I'm not going to be able to do Facebook Live at the end of the month, which would kind of be on our every other week rotation. Um, so I'm going to do it next week instead. So you could win these adhesive backed dots for days. <laughs> I guess they think they have a lot of dots in here, so you could use them for days and days, right? Okay, so we'll draw for that on our next Facebook Live. I also want to give a huge congratulations to one of our Inkspired Stamper team members, Miss Carla Dilly became a qualified team member this month. So how did she do that? 
first of all, she bought the starter kit. Then she um, sold or ordered or some combination of both of those uh, $900 in products. So then she became a qualified team member when she reached that $900 in sales mark. So she did that this month. And I just want to give a huge shout out and congratulations to Miss Carla Dilly on reaching qualified team member. She's also, that means halfway to her bronze elite promotion, which is like the big deal, right? That is when you have um, $1,800 in sales. You get a 5% um, kind of discount, an additional discount or income on your sales. You get, you earn 25% instead of 20% um, income on your sales. So she's halfway to that point to becoming uh, bronze elite, getting her bronze elite promotion. So again, congratulations to Miss Carla Dilly on that. Um, oh, I also want to mention, because I had to change the date. This is kind of crazy. Um, so bingo, our live bingo right here in Alma was supposed to be at the end of the month in July. And then <laughs> I'm pretty sure I confirmed the date with the church that I hold my events at. And, that, and they said, sure, that date's fine. And then later, and this has never happened before, so I can't complain. Um, you know, things do happen. Um, but later, I got a message saying, oops, sorry, we're using the church for our treasure sale. Those couple of days are setting up or, you know, however. So you can't basically use the church that day. And I was like, oh, boy, okay, because I already, you know, started marketing for it, sending flyers, people had already signed up. And I'm like, oh, okay. So pick a new date. So we're going to do it on, instead it's going to be on Thursday, August 15th, right here in Alma again, uh, 6 p.m. at the Peace Lutheran Church. So if you're local and you want to come hang out, we stamp and we play bingo and prizes are Stampin' Up! product. So if you get a bingo, you win Stampin' Up! product. So it's like an awesome stamping and bingo. It's like a great combo night of lots and lots of fun. So love to have you join us. Again, that is Thursday, August 15th, right here in Alma at 6 p.m. So if you'd like to attend, you can comment right here, um, email me, let me know if you'd like to sign up. It's $35 for the um, for the bingo night, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to do our next drawing. So love to always make sure that you know this. If you put an online order in through me using the host code that's always on my blog, it's at gatheringinspiration.com and I'm always posting it all around here on our Facebook group too. But you automatically get the cards that I demonstrated if you put an online order in of at least $50. You get the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which happen to be these two beautiful cards right here, that wildly flowering designer series paper is what we played with last time. So that fun, fun fold, right? So you're gonna get that card as a thank you. And then this little hello, um, in my thoughts, hello, you're in my thoughts. Get that beautiful card also. So you definitely, automatically, everyone gets these two cards as a thank you from me. You also get to pick from the free tutorial for, what month are we in? We're in July, right? So our free embellishment for July is these dappled dots. So you can pick that free embellishment, or you can pick the 16 Project Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. It was all black and white this month. So this is my project that is included in there. So you get to learn how to make that project step-by-step, step, all the details, everything you need to know to make that project. 16 other, well, 15 other, I guess 16 total. So you can pick either one of those, PDF tutorial or free embellishment. And also right now, your name is in the drawing to win. So this is the full package of the full of life designer series paper. This is a little, let me make sure if I have that handy there, right? So we'll kind of flip through here. This is what we are drawing for. One lucky winner that ordered through me is going to get the full package. This, <laughs> you guys, I'm also just going to mention this right now too. Someone needs to put me out of my misery. I still have a one designer series paper share left. So you can get a quarter of a pack of this full of life paper that we're going to draw for in just a minute and all of the other paper in the annual catalog. I still have one 
paper share left. So like I said, you guys don't want to be hearing about like in six months, I still have one paper share left. So somebody please comment, comment right now and tell me, yes, I want your designer series paper share. Um, where is it? I don't know. Sorry. I'll show you that in a sec because I'm kind of digressing here, aren't I? But it made me think when I had that pulled out. $45. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, Philomena. It is beautiful, isn't it? All of the paper is absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay. So here we go. We are going to draw for the full of life designer series paper. And we have one lucky winner. It is, who do we have here? Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the proud new winner owner of the Full of Life Designer Series paper. So I will get that sent out to you along with either your PDF tutorial of free embellishment and the cards from our last Facebook Live. Okay, so let me see. Sorry, I'm trying to, oh, you know, the constant forever trying to organize. Okay, so <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, yeah, I think we're done with all of that, right? Okay, so doo -doo -doo, on our next Facebook Live, one week from today, if you order online through me, you could get your chance to win the, this is not full of life, this is the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. So again, this is another sample from the designer series paper share. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that. I mean, what a beautiful like meadow, right? So order online through me. You could get a full package of that. So here it is, the Thoughtful Journey designer series paper. Your name will go in that drawing. Okay, so let's move this stuff over here. Um, okay, I think, yeah, we are ready. Let's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry, I got to get, you know, always getting organized. Okay. Turn your heads away. We are going to fly through the air and flip the camera down. Okay. So the fan is going. That's nice because it's keeping me cool. That looks like it's about ready to fall over. So we're going to fix that. Hopefully that will do that, right? Okay. We're going to stop the bouncing. We're going to flip this down. Okay. We look like we're a little bit crooked. What if we move that there? Okay, let's see, let me get my glasses on. Okay, so yes, you can see the bottom corner of each of, of my Stampin' Glass mat, which you guys should know if you love this, if you don't have this beautiful Stampin' Glass mat yet, it is available online. You can order this right now. It is $60 um, available online only and our online exclusive, so you won't see it in the catalog, but it is definitely available. This is the host code you're going to want to use to order through me, the M-Y-Q-U-H-X-N-A. This is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well, okay? Um, so just a quick flip through um, online exclusives. I think I showed you guys the products, um, but these are some flyers that they gave us. So there's some beautiful designer series paper I showed you. I know I flipped through that on our last Facebook Live, so I won't show it again, but we've got some awesome, the golden greenery stamp set. There we go, now we're in view. And then the dies. We are actually using today this Greetings of the Season bundle. So awesome set of tag dies, and then greetings, kind of holiday related greetings. In addition, we're also using this every day. Ha, ah, you just got it. Yay, Bonnie, I'm so excited for you. Can't wait to hear what you think of it. It is a perfect work surface to work on too. Then we have some very vanilla satin ribbon and the cherry cobbler and pearl adhesive backed berries. Um, I think I do, those are so pretty. So let's see, oh yeah, I can show you guys those. I have those right here. I think I showed them to you last time, but I think they're beautiful, right? So you've got little like the three berry packs and then the single berries also. Okay. Um, what else? There's even more online too, but they're definitely, and I'm finally kind of getting used to it. It took me a while to kind of warm up to these online exclusive. But so again, just know this, they're not in the catalog. You're never going to find them in any catalog. They're only available online. If you go to stampinup.com, um, I think it's like what's new or happening now. If you click on that, there's literally a section that says, or a, a tab that says online exclusives. If you click on that, you'll see everything that's new 
and available. Um, so here's some Iconic Celebrations Designer Series paper, beautiful paper. We use that on, um, or we're going to actually use it on our Make and Takes at our meeting, our team meeting next week. We're also using this Iconic Imagery stamp set and dies. I love, look at like there's a big label, a medium label, and a baby label, and then some other images that kind of, of course, coordinate with the stamp set. These pecan pie and clear ribbon adhesive back dots, we're actually using those and the frayed white grow green ribbon using that on our make and takes oh and then look at here we go this is my my last little and then this is what I read to you guys really want to know that right I I pulled that off of the Stampin' Up website that's my little counterfeit tirade that I went on <laughs> a little bit ago okay so let's oh, okay I want to show you guys here Let's bring both of these things over. Okay, so, because I mentioned, right, I would do this, show you when it's not backwards. Again, that is the designer series paper that we're gonna play with, the frames and flowers. So these are all kind of die cut cutouts, and then this is the designer series paper here. Here is, so they've got the, oh, I haven't made these, what are those called, like sour cream container? Um, uh, treat, bo treat boxes really cute and simple. I might have to make some of those. It's funny, I'm always looking for ideas. I haven't made those in a long time. Some beautiful tags right there. And then, like I said, over here, that tag topper, right? So you guys can see that, the elegant edge tag topper punch. Now you can see a little bit better, right? There's that one there and that one there. Gorgeous, right? And then can you kind of see like that frame? Well, here, I don't want to flip. So that little frame right there is a part of these die cuts and you can see how they used it on there. And then they use some more of those pieces on those tags too. So awesome, kind of something different too, right? Um, okay, since I just looked at it. Well, nah, never mind. okay. Um, here we go. This is kind of what, so these are the three pieces of designer series paper <laughs> that come in this package. There's this one, this one, and this one. This is all I have left. It's already on a card. So you can't see the backside of that one, but you can see the backside of these two, okay? So there's another <laughs> backside of that one. But So they're similar, right? All these beautiful kind of soft floral tones on the designer series paper. And then, okay, so you guys are probably going to laugh, but like look at, um, let me scoot this out of the way. Okay, <laughs> and they're different too. So can you see all, I already already pump, punched them all out. So I'm gonna show them to you in a sec, but can you see like there's one sheet and you punch them all out. Here's another sheet and you punch them all out. And then these are actually um, like the kind of card front. So can you, you can kind of see on the back, I haven't cut these, but so they're perforated. Um, you can kind of see where they're like flopping open. So this is a rectangle and then this piece actually can you see how it's perforated as like a diamond? That piece right there pops out too. So I haven't popped these all out yet, but this kind of gives you a better idea and of the designer series paper. It's just gorgeous. It was unorderable for a little while, but it's back in orderable now. Um, and so get it while you can. I will show you, so this is kind of funny, right? I'll show you these pieces in just a moment when we make one of our cards. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. We got that there. All right, I think we are ready to make our first card. I'm trying to decide which one are we gonna do first. And I need some water, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Here is our first card, kind of a simple little fun fold that says, thinking of you, friend. So here's one of the little die cuts. Um, and then there's another little one of the die cuts, right? This is some of the pretty designer series paper. I'm gonna show you. So I, I kind of punched them all out and I put them, we'll just kind of spread them out on here so you kind of can get an idea. And I've used some on different things, but these are, so can you see, aren't they? They're beautiful, right? There we go. You can see those. Then we've got some little spriggy guys. There are a bunch of these leafy guys right here. A couple of these. Oh, this, this is like the edge of something else that I cut off, apparently. Forgot about that, right? Got the pretty little flower there. These little baby flowers, those are the ones. I used those a few times. 
yeah and then these little leaves you got a bunch of those leaves right um trying to i kind of got them organized so i'm trying not to like totally disorganize them and showing you guys but you can see right um i don't know that there are any two that are alike so you'll see that when we make these projects today i used some of these things so i kind of tried to find some things that were similar right and use those so if I need to make multiples. I have some options there. These actually are the same. So kind of a little, maybe it would go like that, right? It's like a little arbor arch kind of a thing. Oop, another little flower. So here's a wreath. Isn't that beautiful? A few wreaths, but you can see they're all a little bit different. There's that one there. That's like a half wreath, however you'd wanna do that. This one is also, right? It doesn't go all the way around, but you kind of get the idea. Beautiful, huh? Oh, 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 well, of course they are, Bonnie, because I'm showing it on Facebook Live and telling you how great it is. And now, <laughs> okay, we'll pause, you know, put it on your list. Love it today and enjoy it and appreciate what I'm showing you. Put it on your list. And then as soon as you can order it, order it. It'll be back for sure. Um, yeah, because it did go unorderable for a little while. I didn't even realize that. Gosh darn it. I thought I looked and it was good. So I try not to show you guys things that you can't order, but sometimes it happens. So thanks, Bonnie, for that info. Okay, well, I can't change it now. This is what we're doing, ladies. <laughs> way, way too late, right, to uh, decide to do something else. Ooh, let me show you. This is the Everyday greeting. So this is one of those online exclusive stamp sets. You can see it's kind of a builder set. Love the mixed fonts. So here, this is a great example where there is heartache, let there be healing. Okay, so beautiful sentiment, right? And then what I was actually showing you was kind of the mixed font. So there's one that's already done or you could, um, you know, make your own, right? So you could say, hello, friend, right? Or is there like a thank you? There's a so much, right? I'm sure there's something, right? Um, maybe congratulations on your big day. So definitely lots of kind of builder sentiments happening there. So we're going to use that. Actually, you can see, right? So here is the thinking of you and friend are what we used on this card, right? Okay, so let me, let's show you guys how we're going to make this right we'll put these things here that we don't need right and we've got all of this stuff oops and i'm losing flowers don't do that amy okay all right so let's talk about measurements right you guys know this too right or if you're new to facebook live you need to know that i post all of the details about these projects on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. They'll be on here this afternoon. Um, okay, so we have soft sea foam cardstock. So this piece is eight by four and a quarter. So I had a full sheet, cut it down to eight inches, cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. So we're now eight by four and a quarter, and then we scored it at five and a half inches. So it's kind of the same standard, right? So there's that kind of card base piece. Let's talk about, I am kind of determined to lose those little flowers, aren't I? We have a piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four inches. That's gonna go on the inside. Then we have these two other inside pieces, Soft Sea Foam, four and one quarter by three. That's gonna go there. Then we're gonna stamp our friend on the four by two and three quarter basic white. I've got another little, so you can see that one flower, that flower is a little bit different. We're gonna put that right there. Stamp our friend on the inside. Then we also have another piece of soft sea foam cardstock, four and a quarter by three, designer series paper. Love that paper, it is just beautiful. Four by two and three quarters. That's gonna go right on top of there, like that. Oh, then my last piece. We have this piece of designer series paper that goes right here. This one measures two and a quarter by four inches. And then I have a piece of basic white to do our stamping and die cutting there. So let's do our stamping. Get both of those white pieces. Okay. All right, so we've got our, we're gonna use our Lost Lagoon ink. Always the beauty of our Stampin' Up! products is the wonderful coordination. 
Okay, so the cardstock and the ink and the designer series paper all work so well together. I love this cursive writing. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love to be able to write like that, right? Thinking of you, my handwriting is not nearly as beautiful as that. Thinking of you, friend. There we go, right? Okay. So we're going to scoot that one out of the way. Let's clean these guys off. You guys, I finally got this, my chamois wet. <laughs> it's, it's wet on all corners. So now I can wipe it like kind of over in the corner. Don't have to use the middle. That's the only part that's not dried out, right? I can use the edge. So I'm very proud of myself on that one too. <laughs> you know, I walked all the way to the other end of the house and got that wet so I could use it. Okay. Grab our die cutting machine. I'm gonna grab my paper. Do I have the dies? I think I, yeah. Did I show you guys these yet? I don't know if I did. These are super duper cool. These are called the Greetings of the Season dies. So this, so there's Greetings of the Season stamp set. I'm gonna show you that in a sec. And then the dies. So then there's a bundle with the stamp set and the dies. These are the dies right here. Lots of awesome labels and they've got um, the little holes in them so you can use them as tags. And then kind of coordinating is the Everyday Greetings stamp set. So some more general sentiments, um, not so holiday related there, but they all kind of work beautifully together. And we are gonna use this die right here on our project today. And, and I didn't need the little, um, circle cut out because I'm not using it like a tag like that but so I just covered it up with a little hello Miss Amy how are you and welcome welcome I've been meaning actually I meant to get in touch with you to see if you were coming to class this afternoon so you'll have to let me know class is at one o'clock today if you're since you're retired now right <laughs> maybe you didn't even remember that class was today but you're retired and so you just have all this free time now right so come hang out with us I cut a few extras um for last minute RSVPs so love to have you join us today if you can all right so I think that was the only thing we needed to die cut so here we go let's get this scoot this out of the way Okay, I'm feeling parched. Need some more water there. Okay, so let's put this, we have this back in view. And let me find my adhesive. Got this right here. Okay, so I think we are pretty much ready to put things together. All right, so let's just go with the inside of our card first, right? So we're gonna take here. We're gonna put this one, we're gonna do our white piece, our friend. Okay. Oh, hi, Miss Vina. You're so funny. There's never really a late Miss Vina. You can start watching whenever it works for you and catch back up whenever it's convenient for you as well, right? We love, I do love when people are able to watch live with us because it's fun to kind of interact with um, people. <laughs> oh, funny. Amy, I'm getting your text. Okay, we'll miss you at class this month. And like you said, hopefully next month. Okay, so there is the inside of our card. Oh, and let's, where is that piece actually? Let me grab this little guy. So the silicone mat is great to use for these, especially that little one. We're gonna add that one in a sec too, okay? So let's see, we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of this and put that guy in there. Aren't those, they're just so pretty, right? Beautiful accents, you don't even have to stamp or color. It's like all ready to go for you. Great little kit kind of an idea. Okay, so now we are going to, and this is beautiful too, right? Check out that designer series paper, beautiful, right? Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive right here we go okay and then let's put some adhesive on the back of this guy I think I showed you this paper already right but so many beautiful patterns 
And you can see how that little um, flower coordinates, right? Okay, now try to get that. Okay, well, oh, it did come off, but here. We're gonna just cover up that little hole. There we go, okay? All right, you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. I get so excited and into what I'm doing that I forget to make sure that it's in view. Okay, so now don't put adhesive all over the back of this because you need to be able to open this card, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is kinda lay that down and look at, okay, so I wanna run adhesive just to about there, right? So I'm gonna kinda just do this. I'm kinda eyeballing it, but the other thing is that you want this piece to kinda lay directly on top of that one so that you can't see it, right? So lay that down, add your adhesive, there we go. Now we've got this little guy right here and we need some dimensionals. So we're gonna pop a couple dimensionals on here. I'm glad you like this card, Miss Vina. I think it's beautiful also. So there we go, we've got our thinking of you. We have, this is the Petal Pink, it's a combo pack of ribbon. So there's Petal Pink, kind of diagonal stripe ribbon, and then a white diagonal stripe ribbon. And for some reason I have this little leftover piece, so I'm just gonna use this to make my bow. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of pull the ends. There we go with that, and yes, I do have my scissors, okay. So we're going to kind of trim that one there, that one there. We'll get that out of the way. And again, I will have all of the names of, ooh, that's my last glue dot on here. Um, everything that we're using will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Um, so don't worry if you didn't get the names of everything. You know, I have to do that. So you kind of run your fingers along here to make sure no glue dots are left. And then this little cardboard thing, I'm going to recycle. <laughs> so Mike that popped on earlier, he totally teases me. Like every little thing, I'm like, oh, that toilet paper roll, you can recycle that. <laughs> so it's like a joke of like, ooh, you can recycle that. <laughs> so ladies, I'm encouraging you to not buy counterfeit Stampin' Up! products and recycle. <laughs> Those are my two, what, PSA announcements for the day, right? Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to add some. These are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. Uh, good. I'm so glad you like this card, Bonnie. Um, yeah. And like I said, everything, you know, in terms of trying to make it again will be on my blog. So whenever you can order it and I'm hoping yes, very soon you'll be able to order it. Cause that's a big bummer, right? Here I am showing you stuff you can't even order, but you can get all these other things. You can get the online exclusives. Um, we're going to add maybe one more right here. And I think I did one more. Let's do Put one more right up in there somewhere, right? Okay, so there we go. Just to add the couple little sprinkle of dots on there too. Beautiful, right? Thinking of you, friend. Love that. Um, I already know who I'm going to send this card to. Just thinking about that. Okay, awesome. All right, so there is project number one. We will move on and work on our next project. Oops, there we go. Put that back in view for a moment, right? Okay, I'm gonna scoot that stuff out of the way. Okay, so next project, ladies. Put that there, right? Okay. Oops. All right, we're gonna put that one there. So let's see, here we go. I've got my little tote here. Well, wow, I'll check out this one, right? Okay, so we've got wishing you a happy birthday. So fun, right? Fun, fun fold. And let me show you. So Miss Elsie Lynch from our Inspired Stampers team. This was her swap that she shared with us last month. And I, I loved that fun fold layout. And I was like, okay, we're going to be making that little fun fold um, at some point on Facebook Live. So here we go. Thank you, Elsie, for your inspiration um, on that card layout. I appreciate that. All right, let's see, maybe move that over there. Okay, and so here, this is the Greetings of the Season stamp set. So let me bring that other one back into view here too. So we have Everyday Greetings, 
and greetings of the season. So you can see the fonts are the same, so you can really mix and match them. And that is essentially what I did. So I've got wishing you came from greetings of the season, or wishing you a, and then happy came, I think that was from, or no, that one's right here, right? Here's happy, right? And then birthday is over on greetings of the season. So these two sentiments came from greetings of the season, and then the birthday came from the everyday greetings. So awesome sentiments. You know what I realized is that I'm fairly addicted to sentiment stamp sets, and I've bought almost no flower stamp sets, which is like pretty unusual. I think I was like, oh, I have lots of flower stamp sets. But then I got rid of most of them in my buy one, get one free, like new kid catalog kickoff event. So I'm like, I need to buy some flower stamp sets too. So be watching for that. I've got my eye on a couple here. Okay. So let's bring, bring that back into view and we will talk about kind of measurements for things here. Let me get everything pulled out. All right, so this time we have, this is a piece of petal pink cardstock, okay? So full sheet of petal pink cardstock right here along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then we scored it at two and three quarter and five and a half inches. So fold that one there and that one there, and there you go, okay? Next we have a... Oh, haha, I didn't show you, but on the back, I'm like, where's that white piece? So because there was really nowhere to write on here, flip it over and you're gonna put a piece of basic white cardstock on the back, the standard five and a quarter by four inches is what's gonna go there along with that little, and then here, so you can see kind of going a different way, right? I'm gonna put that one on there. Um, okay, what else do you guys need to know, right? So we got that one. How about the garden green piece, okay? This one measures nine by three and it's scored at three and six inches. And this one you're gonna just accordion fold like that so it can open up there, okay? Um, we also have the designer series paper that's on the back side there. Same standard five and a quarter by four inches. That's gonna go on that right there right um then we have oh okay two pieces right here and here of the frames and flowers dsp two and a half by four inches so those are going to go right there and there okay and then on the green we added two pieces of white and these are i think two and three quarter yep two and three quarter by two and three quarter squares okay then I went with, I only had one kind of square frame, so we're going to use this pretty circular frame. And then if you can see, we use that little piece. It's going to go right on there. And then a couple more, like those little leaves are going to go on there, and then a couple more of those little flowers. We're going to use those also, okay? So hoping not to lose those. Actually, let's put them right, we'll flip those over. You're all ready to go right on there, okay? And this one and that one. Oh yeah, you guys can't even see that. That's my little silicone mat over there in the corner. Okay, so we are gonna do our stamping and die cutting and then we'll be able to put everything together. So we are gonna use, this is just an extra piece of basic white cardstock. Okay, so we're gonna do this wishing you a, okay, in garden green ink that coordinates with our garden green cardstock, right? And then birthday is the one we want. We're going to die cut both of these. And this time we're going to do two circles. So from the stylish shapes dies that have circles, squares, and kind of banners, this one, I thought the square obviously worked well. When I use wherever that piece went, hmm. It's here somewhere, the one that's circular. <laughs> we're gonna use a circle die instead. Um, so this one right here that we did the birthday, we're gonna do that with the wishing you a also, okay? I'm also, while I have things out, I'm just praying I find that, it's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah, it didn't fall on the floor. Okay, let's stamp on one of these. We're gonna do the happy, okay? 
Well, hello, Miss Deb and Miss Trudy. Thanks so much for joining us, ladies. Uh, yes, watching the replay, Miss Trudy, that works. Absolutely. It's here for you, and I'll have it uploaded on YouTube also, so wherever it's most convenient. Look at, isn't that beautiful, right? A little happy love, that font, that beautiful cursive font. Okay, so we've got those, we've got that and that. All right, um, okay, so let's do our die cutting. Okay. All right, actually, you know what I'm gonna do too? Let's clean these things off real quick, because then I can get my stamps out of the way. And so I'm like trying to consciously use the corner there. <laughs> Um, that's the part I don't use very often, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's grab the die cutting machine. All right, we're going to have to run this twice, right? Because I want to use the same circle on both of them. So we've got this wishing you a... Okay, we're going to crank that one through. And then we'll do... One more. We're going to do birthday right there and crank that one back through the other way. Okay. I love, so if you guys, I think I say this every single time I use these, but these are the just the standard, got to have them, got to use them, stylish shapes dies, right? With the circles, squares, and banners. If you don't have these yet, you got to have these must have must have set of dies okay i keep i'm like so worried i'm not going to be able to find you know what i did maybe i put it back in with all the others i don't know i can always grab one out of here if i can't find it that's what i can do right okay <laughs> i just get to worrying okay all right so here we go let's put let's scoot that one out of the way right um, and this piece too. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to bring these back in. Let's just put adhesive on these pieces right here too, right? So we've got that, 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 that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Go right there again. There we go. Okay, so we are going to, there it is. Now I found it. This was the one I've been stressing out about. Where is that? It was kind of like on the other piece of designer series paper. So a little bit hard to find. Okay, yep, that's how that's going to work. But that's okay because in just one moment, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put that right on there. Okay, so that's the back side. Why did that? <laughs> I'm like, why did it get crooked? Because um, I never put adhesive on this piece. Okay, well, that is going to be helpful to add adhesive. You guys can see, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's the back side, right? Then we're going to grab this piece. Again, beautiful, such pretty paper. We'll be back and available to order shortly. Okay, so we've got that one there. Then let's do both of these pieces. Again, the dots and, oh, so cute. It's like just kind of this beautiful dainty paper, right? Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive on both of these, right? So let's scoot that over. It's gonna like Ooh, okay. I did the wrong side. So that's what we're going to go with. Too late now. If it weren't on Facebook Live, I might take the time to um, take all that adhesive off, but we're not doing that today. So this card's going to be fairly busy, I think. I don't know that I normally would have done, um, but we'll see. We'll have to... <laughs> we'll just be the judge of that once we um, put it all together. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Okay, so let me think about... How did I? I did this one earlier this week and now I'm trying to remember. So I'm going to lay that one on. Let's put some adhesive right here. Right? Let's get this green one. Okay, because I think I want to um, right, be able to open and close it. So we're going to go about like that there. 
And then I'm gonna just lay that. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do that. Did you guys see? So I put this one on first, make sure it's kind of straight and even, and then just lay that so that, a, and it doesn't open, like this kind of stays popped up just a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. Alrighty, so um, let's open this up now so we can kind of see what we're working with here. This one, so this one has the happy, right? All right, so we're gonna put some adhesive on both of these and add them to our garden green piece. Okay, so this is the blank one. So this one's gonna go right here and this one says happy. So we're gonna add that one right there. We're gonna put our leaf right about there and we're just gonna kind of trim off the bottom of that, right? Um, let's see, now we're going to put some dimensionals, and I think I popped this one up also. So we're gonna put dimensionals behind all of these things. Okay, so we've got that one and that one, and then, okay, you think it's gonna be all right? Yeah, it kind of covers it up a little bit, doesn't it, Philomena? Okay, <laughs> good, I'm, I'm glad that we think this might be saved. <laughs> it's it's still a lot, but I think it's gonna be okay, right? So we're gonna put that one right there. And then we've got the wishing you a, I love how this fits just so nicely right inside there, right? So we've got our square on that one and our circle on that one. We've got our happy and we're gonna add that little flower there. Oops, and then we've got this piece we're gonna add inside there with our little birthday and then one more little flower right there, right? And then we're gonna kind of finish it off with some of our, these are the new in color gems. We're just gonna add a couple of these little babies. Okay, so we've got all the beautiful new in colors still totally loving these. Okay, so we're gonna do right here, we're gonna put one there and these are, so, and I love this. So this is the peach, this is peach pie as opposed to petal pink, but I really think um, that the colors work well together, right? I think you can kind of use either. And I just sprinkled these babies all over my card. Just kind of loved adding all of these little sparkles and details. You'll notice I did not put a bow on here, which is very unusual for me. So, okay, well, hello, Miss Debbie. Thank you for watching and sharing. And go ahead, ladies, and share this video if you're watching. Truly appreciate that, right? So here we go. We've got, okay, it's not too bad, actually. The wishing you a happy birthday. And then here's the other one, right, with the... Yeah, which one do you guys like better? I don't know, I'm kind of digging this one. I thought it was gonna be, it's it's busy, but it's not, I don't know, it, it works, right? So, okay, all right, there we go, ladies. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Always like to do the little recap here, um, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, right? Love to make sure you guys know that if you order online through me, you are gonna get both of these projects that I demonstrated as a thank you from me. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win the Thoughtful Expressions Designer Series paper. And you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or our free embellishment. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys love these cards, that you don't think it's too busy. The DSP is beautiful and hopefully back very, very soon. And we will be back next Friday, one week from today. We'll be right here doing Facebook Live at 1130 a.m. We'll see you then. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.